I was just looking up uh, the 16th Amendment. It's the tax, uh, income tax amendment started in 1913. 1913, I think it was. 1903, not 1903, 1903, anyway. <clears throat> so it's a tax, uh, income tax, federal income tax, which states that in the argument, it's not in the amendment, but in the, in the argument for the 16th Amendment, it argues that your money is not your own. It's basically saying, it, I don't know if that's, if that's that Jesus stuff that said give G or give Caesar what Caesar's what is Caesar's and meaning that his money had his face on it so it's automatically his well the the labor behind it and everything for him to be in uh, to get it wasn't his he didn't do it himself so it's not really his money it's everybody else you know all he did is put his face on it. you can go around you know there's people tagging stuff you know just because somebody puts their face on the side of a train doesn't mean it's theirs just somebody puts their their caricature on the side of a building doesn't mean the building's there <clears throat> but what it's saying 16th basically uh, the argument for it is that your money's not your own i'd like to know <clears throat> how is my working and we the people and all that correlate into the argument that your money's not your own was it your money your own before they started federal income tax of course it was so basically they just turned the argument and that's all they do they just turn an argument well yeah now and they just put it into law that's all they do there's no truth to this there's no reality to this it's not a realization it's them so laws are basically fake stuff that you're forced to obey now everybody knows well i would say everybody knows because <clears throat> nobody likes uh, thieves and stuff like that and they, they got laws against thieves but uh, and the murder and everything else but that's just because it's written it doesn't and they're, they're trying to say there's even a moral argument for the 16th amendment saying that the government has a, a moral right to take whatever percentage of money they want for the betterment of the, you know, say, say for the betterment of the country, but it's, it's not easy. It's, they're not using tax for the betterment. In fact, that's all a lie. All the way, you know, everything they do is not for the betterment of the country. They're lining their pockets. They get rich being in there. They get all this. They get all these benefits, and then they turn around and screw the people. That make it uh, give them the ability to live. The I mean. If you just start, you know, the thing is, everybody was born into this income tax. It's alive now. There's, I don't think there's anybody around. Well, maybe there is somebody that was born in 1913. They'd be 100 and, what, eight, eight years old. I don't know how that, I don't know how, I don't know if there was 108. Yeah, I'm sure there is, but they were only two years old when it went into effect, so they they really don't know anything about it and the argument was by the time they by the time they got old enough that they had to pay the income tax it was probably the argument was over with and people were just into uh the mode of paying it but what i'm saying is you know they they, they take these arguments once they pass the law they take an argument so it's, it's automatic they try to say it's a natural they almost try to turn laws into rights rights and laws ain't the same thing rights or what you have and what you would have if there was no government. That's what a right is. If you was out picking berries, you know, uh, you can get into the argument of you're picking berries and it's actually, there's a deer that walks through there, pooped out uh, some blueberries or whatever, or strawberries right where you're picking them and that's where that bush came from because that deer traveled 100 miles ate some strawberries in one place and pooped the seeds out there and has been eating their berries when they come through and now you're taking the berries from the the deer and so what is the government coming in there and trying to say well i'm fighting for the deer well they're not because they butcher deer but what i'm saying is if you go out and pick some berries the government you know they're saying trying to say that laws are rights and they're not 
And that's what they're trying to do with all these uh, laws they're trying to pass. They're trying to say this is all morality by, the, you know, it's all these shootings or morale. I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there was people psychologically uh, going around this country and messing with people's heads in what what way i don't know maybe the maybe they leave a a soda uh you know and they go to the bathroom come back and somebody drops some you know drugs in it or something you know some some uh some spook you know from the the government going around and trying to get people to to kill so that they can put into effect uh this gun all these gun laws you know and now is that is that moral what they're trying to do? I you know I because I don't know any gun owners who want to go out and they just want to go to the range or you know they want to go whatever they want to do. They I don't know any any of them they want to go out and just start shooting people. You know go to a school and just start and they don't even ring it because most of them have kids that age or are smaller or grad you know it's whatever or grandparents. And so the only ones doing this are people that are affected by the psychological trauma of society, which they uh, they force their maybe they force a bad opinion into society. Society pushed back at them, and then on that pushback, it realigns some thoughts that maybe you know who you know it's been pushed. Well, you know, uh, you're you know they're automatically finger pointing that if you you're like this then you are automatically if you if, if you say this and you're automatically put in this uh category and that this is the way you're going to act you know that's it's it's not a stereotyping it's uh it's what are they what were they profiling but it's not profiling because uh, you can't it's just people's opinion and they 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 might when you're living in a family you're you're around relatives you're around friends and you develop your own opinion or you start developing an opinion not everybody start, develops opinions of their own some people you know they uh they uh, just go with the crowd they don't really have an opinion they might be saying well i wonder if this is right you know maybe they don't maybe they think well the majority you know they just stick with the majority you know i don't maybe they don't all have the uh wherewithal to think for themselves i don't know i don't go around dipping my dipping into other people's thoughts i know there are people that do that and they try to they try to manipulate there are you, you tell me that there aren't people to manipulate then you're gonna have to tell me that all the failed marriages that were actually started out with manipulation you know somebody wanted somebody else but they weren't they weren't uh compatible and that's the problem with people is they they take this stuff that's written whether it's moral or whatever whatever decision making goes into the effect of making a decision and, and the gathering of the information to make the decision you know it's it, nobody has any in fact it, nobody has any uh actual uh sop for how to make a decision i mean there's there's going to be somebody that does but not everybody in the country agrees with it you know there's not going to be there's going to be groups saying okay this is how you make a decision and this is what you and it it'll just come out to how they want decisions made and if they're training this you know say you're in a college university wherever it is and they should tell you how to make a, tell you how to make a decision then they they're going to have some sort of agenda behind the decision making process you're saying well you know maybe they don't maybe they're against uh or, or do they take into religious context do they take in morality uh, a lot of this stuff is not taken in morality in anything like all these sex laws and all this stuff and 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 the morale and morality of uh taking money away from people that work for it because of uh going trying to uh build back the economy from uh world war one or build or build build a not back from world back build the economy for world war one you know because they was figuring they was going to go into world war one I, I think was a one of the reasons of course that was that was 1913 that was four years away 1917 1918 anyway uh so that's you know is all these decisions that are 
I think society is just a controlling whore, to tell you the truth. And it's 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 fed by all the other controlling whores, like uh, government, uh, uh, popularity, you know, and all the different groups of popularity. There might be a, a popularity within a religious uh, organization. You know, they're, they're all, uh, whatever, you know, they're popular because they know a lot about religion, of uh, their certain religion. Or there's somebody that knows a lot about a lot of religion, you know, and or somebody that knows a lot about government, or somebody that knows a lot about education system, or how to uh, how to improve your kids. But these none of these these groups go out or ever uh, until they're caught doing something wrong. Their stuff is never brought forward, so uh, the rest of the population can judge it and say, "Well, we don't we don't think you're right on this." That's a, the, why a lot of these cults. Are formed because people it's a small group and people get together and uh, right now I think liberals are just a big giant cult in fact I, I think the conservatives are almost a cult too I mean they're both kind of got a cult and uh, that's a problem I don't think there should be I think uh, the best man for the I, I'm not even for government but I'm just saying if you're gonna have a government and you're gonna have these two these two factions of uh, you know, and that's all that's all that's allowed. I mean, you got all these. If you ever look up how many uh, political organizations there are, and they only allow independent, conservative, and liberal. You know, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. That's the only thing that's allowed to vote. Now, you can apparently go uh, rogue and not claim any uh, political party, but anyway, it's got into this argument on the 16th amendment and you can argue that uh paying your you know they're just used there's there's the frivolous arbitrary use of everything the arbitrary use of the military well they you know somebody's in a a fuddle in the politics and they need to cover something up all of a sudden there's a war it just happens to pop up and that's what's happened until trump came along and Trump just sat there and just took lash after lash of these people. He didn't ever say, "Hey, I want to take you know, I want, I want to get this directed away from, away from me." He took all this lashings on himself, and that's that took a lot of character for him to just sit there. You know, people say, "Well, you know, I don't care what they say." He didn't put us into a war to get out of his own his own uh, what they were trying to punish him for. That's that's that that took some, as far as I'm concerned, that that's. Either he didn't have, maybe he didn't have the wherewithal to be like, you know, lifelong politicians. Maybe that's where it's built up, is the government builds it up inside. And you talk to people like this, and you hear you hear all the rumors on the, in, you hear the insider stuff on why wars get started. You're not, you're, you probably got an oath to secrecy to not tell anybody. And, but you know about it. And then it, you know, it leaks, and you still can't say anything about it. But anyway... I'm just saying that he didn't go to war with all this pressure. I mean, just every for four years he was bashed, and then I've now I all my years I've you know they they bash everybody. I mean, all, all Obama had was he wasn't born here. I think that's the, about the only thing. And then he killed Osama bin Laden, and they was like, and then another guy died because he called him a bump in the road. But it, and all that that's that's true and factual. And uh, he he did some, you know, he did put boots on the ground in places. And that's the opposite of what, you know, I, mean, I wouldn't say the opposite of what Trump did. Trump allowed, when he first got in, allowed the military. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not here to promote Trump. He's out and he's going to do what he's going to do. But uh, these people that they're, they're all they're doing is it's been arbitrary ever since. In fact, I was I, I would, ever since uh, the Constitution has been going on. The uh, founding fathers they put put all this stuff into uh, the Constitution, the Bill, and everything. And and if uh, you ever listen to Paul Harvey tell about the history of all the people that signed the Constitution. In fact, I might put that in this, uh, I, I got it in one of my, oh, maybe I don't. I'll, I'll put it in a, put a Paul Harvey, the Paul Harvey video in my description. 
telling about all, what happened to all the people. It's it's you know it's pretty heartbreaking. They all ended up you know losing almost everything just to uh just to uh, after they signed the Constitution and what happened to them. You know they didn't end up rich rich people. But anyway, the uh, the people that signed it and got this nation going, which all the countries on the planet basically envy and are trying to emulate with their own with their own way without be saying that yeah we want to be american but we want to have total control over you know like everything uh, they want total control so that all the all the uh, envy comes back to the leaders you know it's not and that's a problem the, the leaders aren't really the ones they they grab ideas from someplace else and they, i heard this you know i heard that and and all these politicians they got all over you know they're supposed to be not i don't know if they're eavesdropping but because that would basically be stealing ideas from somebody else and which i'm sure the government has done with no uh no respect or uh compensation to the people they stole it from and they do that all the time i'm sure they do because they want your ideas for free you know it's like well you're part of this country and they try to talk you into it and that's their way it's um, i'm like uh no you know if you're gonna if you're gonna take an idea from somebody that person ought to be in charge of that idea uh if if they're the originator of it if they're just somebody that's second hand in it or third hand in or third party story of somebody else's idea and they overhear it and they're you know they try to make cut a deal with them and say oh is that yours no it's i heard it now they'll strike a deal with third party they don't hear nothing and that's the reason half this stuff gets uh half-assed through everything is because they'll either want to put their own name to it as their idea and some guy's sitting back wow you know what i've been thinking about that and talking about that and all of a sudden they're... and but anyway the original forefathers uh all these uh, all the uh constitution then they then they furthered with the amendments and, you know, after they said, well, you know what we need to do, and we got, we need to put this in here, we need to put that in there. And uh, what happened after the forefathers, you know, died and passed away is all these, all these officials came in and said, I want the glory that they had. And so they started changing it, and they started infringing stuff. Well, only the second is, has an infringement clause, which you're not supposed to mess with, which is basically having that infringement clause there. They mess with it more than any of the other amendments. And uh, I don't know if they, you know, the, I doubt the uh, founding fathers said, oh, yeah, you know, who, I can't remember who the, who put in the second. I, I got, there's a, there's a lecture on that about how the second came about. There's quite a few on there. And, uh, but anyway, the, what they originated in the Constitution and now all these people that want power, you know, they, they, everybody says, well, these originators of the Constitution and their names are in, you know, they're in stone in Mount Rushmore. They're in, uh, they're on the money. They are, you know, they're, they're in history books. And all these do-nothings that don't do nothing but want to change everything. And basically, they don't care if it turns into communism if they get their name in history for changing something and i think that's what's going on i think they're just they all these people just want their name up instead of better in the country instead of instead of doing service doing your time yeah, that's the whole problem another thing these people have done nothing but suck on government tax money they've never they've never uh actually served they've been in power and they they were empowered by people voting for them and, and it automatically thinks well i'm the top of the pile and where in actuality everybody should be equal, and that's what it says. But they don't put themselves there because they, they the government doesn't have any boundaries as far as punishment. They could do about anything they want without punishment, and and that's there, there's a problem because uh, the founding fathers were like, you know, we got a moral obligation uh, to this country to make it better. You know, we we just did you know, won this uh, war, and we got to make this country better so that everything we, all the decisions we make, they had, they, they, every decision they made was like, we have to make this better than 
what we just destroyed, you know, or they didn't really destroy Britain. I mean, look at, you know, where they are now. Uh, well, not where they are now because I haven't heard what they're, they're going through some problems now anyway. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this video, 20 minutes into this video, I'm going to let this go. But I'm just saying, the decision-making process has become arbitrary. Instead of... Uh, this we want this to last a thousand years all these uh all these presidents that have put forth uh their uh these decisions these uh, what do they call the the uh oh. now i can't even think of the name it's where the president makes a decision and it's just automatically put into law uh i can't even think of anyway uh order uh executive order so the the they and he's put 50 executive orders in in uh not even a month what's the day that it's not even a month because it was january 20th this is february uh oh tomorrow's the 20th tomorrow's a month or would it be the 20 anyway so they're they're just they're just arbitrarily changing this stuff, and I don't think any of this stuff that they're putting forward they just did it because they didn't want Trump. I mean, how and, the, and the, our four year, eight year, these uh these voting things it that doesn't even make sense because it, it's every four or eight years the sides swap, and they say well whatever they did we're going to destroy and this country is going nowhere. This country has to have a path. The Constitution is a path. And what's ha what's happening is this: the red and this blue, the Republicans and the Democrats, and I don't know if the Independents have anything in into it at all. I'm going to push all three of them up there and say they have nothing to do uh, with better in this country. They're just better in their political agenda, their side, and that's all I see happening. And I think this country needs to get together, and, and the people, of course. People just sit back. Well, that's what the government wants. That's what everybody wants. You know, they just let it happen. So, but I think we need to. Uh, the people need to say uh, we need to stick with the con. I, I think we do. And there's stuff like the Sixteenth Amendment that says they can take. You know, the government can take as much as they want. And there's got to be a cap. There's got to be. They can't just start. They can't just escalate our taxes and just strip us of our. Every, all, all our money because they think they got a face on it. Those people, that's the reason they have, you know, they got dead presidents on there. It's, and, it, you know, it's, it's habitual is what they're, that's what it is. It's habitual. Every four to eight years, it's a habit of them just wanting to change. And it has nothing to, it's not helping the country. This country needs to come, we need to make a decision for the country uh, as one. Now there's going to be people that disagree, and they're going to disagree no matter what. But if 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 they real if you know because there's blabbering idiots in this country. But there's got to be there's got to be an understanding that every decision made needs to be for the country, not for this agenda, not for this agenda, for the country. And that's the problem. That's the reason our country is so divided is because all these, all these people are trying to grab a piece of the power, pull it away and say, this is our agenda. And they're just, there is, it's like they're, uh, divide and conquer. And that's, a, that's a problem with our, all the, all this, all the stuff that's happening is, uh, everybody's trying to grab a piece of the power of the government, and it's it's fluid, but it's still you come out here and it's then the argument slam comes slamming back in. Everybody's fine and dandy, and then something happens out here, and they, and they're they're trying to make an impact, a constant. They're almost like bombarding uh, the, the the flow of this country, which has just been broken up by all these different arbitrary agendas. And that's what they, that's what they are. They're just arbitrary agendas that just keep popping up, and it, the, whoever's in charge says, "Yeah, we need to do this." We need, and they're doing that right now. They're just they they have no thought to what the the, the the history behind anything that these people are trying to push. 
you know, what, where it's going to go. China and them, uh, 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 Israel, they have all these older countries have these thousands, basically, people that it's not the whole country, it's not the government, because all these governments are just screwing up, and they're, the, they're basically the problems. Them and, and anyway. But they got these thousand year agendas where they, they're putting forward, say, this is for, for a thousand years. Now, we shouldn't, I don't know if a thousand years, two thousand years, but stuff's going to change in a thousand years, two thousand years. And, and, and the problem with these people is some of their agendas, thousand year agenda stuff is, I don't know if that's what Islam was. Part of their agenda is uh, to take over the planet through a, uh, whatever that, uh, I can't remember the word they use for, you know, for just a military takeover, whatever it was, religious takeover. But anyway, uh, you know, and they have problems in those thousand year programs, but they, you know, it's, that's basically how their goal is. Now, this country needs to get together. We already got a constitution. And that's basically should be our platform. That should be our, that is our foundation. And these people are arguing away from the constitution and it's, and it's being overgrown with all these infringements to where it's not going to mean anything to where we will have no foundation and and these and this all this uh christianity is supposed to be built on a on a rock foundation if you want to build a house you don't want to build it on quicksand you don't want to build it on a shifting uh you know people uh like on flooding coasts or earthquake area zones they build these houses and then every so many years uh, insurance has to rebuild them now should once those uh places are destroyed should they be rebuilt you know that's that's just one of the things it's like this country isn't say, saying you know is this country i mean our insurance everybody's insurance goes up because of all this all this destruction of course you got the tornado alleys should they you know uh not everybody can afford uh, should they build underground areas in these tornado alleys, you know, so that they don't aren't affected by these tornadoes when they come through? They're just, they just have a like bunker house, you know, or put the sod up around the, the house, and stuff like that. Instead of having a normal house say, in a tornado area, you you build a you build an in ground house. But you know, it's, I mean, I don't think that'd be any harder. You just have to learn how to. Uh, you know, they'd have to do a lot better with, uh, anyway, that's getting off subject. It's just the arbitrary problem. We just, I think this country, we got a foundation as a constitution. It has got some flips and flaws, like, but they're not, they're not disasters. The second's not a disaster. It's help. It's so people can defend themselves. The first is so people can speak speak their mind and they should be able to speak their mind and you should be able to they should be able to say what they want and that way if they're over there saying uh, you know just yelling at just hating everybody it, it's not a you should be able to look at you of course they're hating okay you realize that person's hating people you either ignore them you keep away from them but you you can at least acknowledge they, it, it helps you acknowledge instead of this the problem with this mental attitude is you're you keep suppressing all these people you keep oppressing and suppressing and censoring what people can say and they can only say it in the small groups and then you got this person that comes to the school because for whatever reason shoots up a bunch of people goes to a mall shoots up a bunch of people goes to a uh, military base shoots up a bunch of people goes to a church shoots up a bunch of people because they're being censored it's got to be being censored in all these areas school they're being censored in school they can't probably can't say this probably can't wear a shirt or whatever it is they got all these rules well we you got to live by rules you got to have rules but you're censoring freedom of speech while you do it and you, you it's one of our foundations they, even if it's in school well that's that's a cuss word he's wearing a cuss word yep and everybody uh i mean i don't i was raised People were cussing around me my whole life. Now, I don't like cussing, but I do when I get angry. And uh, because it's it's just an expression of error. It's more, it's like more, it's like instead of going, pff, sh, like, uh, you know, character or whatever, you, you're using express word and it's it's a large error expulsion. Yeah, I think that's, that's the reason that those words are used because 
uh, it's a large energy release. And basically you get a buildup of energy that you don't want. It's an argument against you maybe possibly. And the only way to get, you know, you say it's a curse word. And, and, but anyway, I'm not, not going to get into the billion things of life on this planet and why it is, why it shouldn't be, or why it should be, or whatever. But the Constitution is our base, I believe. And the uh, problem is, they're allowing these people in that don't want to be in this country. They don't want to live by our Constitution. They want to, they, they're they here because uh, we either went and bombed the hell out of them, and now they they got a war in their, their country, or they got people shooting them up that had been planned to get rid of people that didn't want to work. And I think that's what Mexico is. I think those people are down there, even though it's a, they claim it's a drug war, they're going around shooting up villages, uh, killing people just random because they won't. It's almost like the Vietnam War where they went through, uh, you know, the Viet Cong. It was a battle between uh, the Viet Cong going into villages and saying, we want to store our guns here and... Uh, we'll let you use them, but we're going to take some of the rice for letting you use our weapons. And it was like an unfair trade, and the villagers couldn't do none because they was they was uh, out armed. And then the military come and say, "Oh, I see you're giving rice uh, for guns, and so you're buying them." And this, you know, they got twisted up, and this and that and the other. And now I'm not saying that there wasn't sympathizers and everything else because basically, you know, we don't need it. You know, if you can't, uh, if there's no diplomacy then why are you into a war? I'll tell you why you go to a war or why you get into a fight because you're wrong and you don't have the answer. You neither but, and you, you settle it by might. So, and that's and that's where uh, it starts at a fight and ends up in a war. You know, you, you, you think whoever's got the most might should win. Well, it's been proven that these people that not don't have the most might and they're finding other ways to fight, you know, and, and, and it's putting us in wars that these these idiots that haven't been in a military get into a war and they, they hear these generals saying, hey, we could do this, we could do that, and then they politicize and it gets, <clears throat> instead of going full force, and maybe that general has been trained on half force because they've been in, there's been so many wars where politics go in and it's, it's stupid it war is stupid if you if you don't have the words to solve the problem you if you don't have the ability to solve a problem then war ain't gonna war ain't gonna help you know i think we should have one military the whole the whole planet should have one military and station all in one place and uh all the military all the uh you know you have like whatever an equal whatever but it's just a quick reaction force. We that get rid of all our nukes and all the poison that nuclear uh, bombs and all that stuff have. And since you're gonna, you're not gonna get rid of nuclear plants, you know, as far as a power plants, then you just use all that uh, the nuclear stuff that you went for bombs and stuff. Well, I don't know if you can use that same stuff for for power and rods or you know. Your, anyway, it's different kind of uranium. Anyway. Yeah, so why why is there not this country not coming together and the people saying, agreeing on that we need, I mean, these arbitrary agendas we keep ro rolling away and the country is just going nowhere. It's just, it's, it's, it's like a hurricane. That's what we're, we're, we're caught in a social hurricane is what it is. And it's not social justice because... The only people who feel injustice are this certain agenda. When they get the power to push out and push against our constitution, our our way of you know the country's way of life, the what we're based on. They, when they get to push it and change it, they think, oh yeah, we're winning. And then down the road, uh, maybe they will, or their kids will, or somebody, you know, in their uh, lineage will say, wow, my parents. My grandparents, my great grandparents, totally screwed this country up with their stupid agenda, their stupid uh, self aggrandizing You know, because they just want power. They're just leaders. They, you know, I can get all these idiots to follow us. We got an agenda. We planned it. And we set it out, and we, we got, we can show them this, and we can get this to go happen, and they'll believe this, and it's all it's anyway. So we need a. Uh, 
we need to get this country back on following what this country was based on. That's the Constitution. And it's been changed. And, uh, but what they're trying to do now, they're just trying to take, there, there are some standards of the Constitution. And, uh, like our speech, and that's what this country is known for. And, play, and they've shown, this is, this is statistics have shown. You, you look anywhere, and statistics have shown that where there's uh, the Second Amendment rules, there's less crime. And people, I, I don't, can't believe that people just ignore that and say, well, this happens. It's not people following the Second Amendment. Even if they were, they're, they've been mentally deranged by society wanting something. They're just, these people with this arbitrary agendas wanting bad stuff to happen in this country so that they can prove their agenda. Their agenda's wrong. If you, if you need something bad to happen, then your agenda's wrong, isn't it? I mean, if you can't agree with that, then I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish the video right there. If you, if your agenda needs something bad to happen to prove it wrong, or to prove everybody wrong and your agenda right, then your agenda is wrong.